everyone, Gage and Will here. Uh, we're standing here with Jess LeBeau, lead narrative designer on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Jess, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. All right, so we're here at E3. We're checking out your game. It looks super cool. What is your best, what is your favorite part of this game? I mean, I, I'm watching it. Everything's really realistic about it, and you seem very enthusiastic. We just saw a presentation. You were just into a, How proud of you right now? Oh, man, uh, you know, the reaction here at E3 has been outstanding. I mean, people love it. And I think the reason is that they, you know, they're tired of seeing the typical run-and-gun shooters, right? This is very tactical. It's very different. It's a cool, new, unique experience. Uh, and, and, you know, yeah, I'm just, I'm really proud of the, I, you know, the, the demo's just running well. The game feels good. I think we're just clicking with people, and I think it's it's cool. Yeah, the reception was very positive from what I saw, and then people were hanging out like, oh, we got to talk more about this game. Um, now, I've always thought these games as super difficult. And we talked about this a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm the best game player in the world, obviously. How difficult is this game comparative no. to the other Sniper Ghost Warrior games? Well, I mean, it's very realistic and it's very tactical. If you're going to go into this game the way you would go into another shooter, you're going to get killed, right? I'm not going to lie to you, right? It's, it's very tactical. You have to think about how you do it. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, I've, I've played other Sniper games that are, that are super hard, and I think you know, there is a, a bit of a learning curve. But once you get over that, it's super fun. And the, the challenge is... Uh, it, you know, the rewards overcome the difficulty at the beginning. Uh, I, I mean, I think you're going to enjoy it. I, I do. Well, I can't wait for it. Will, do you have any? Yeah, absolutely, Jess. So what was the, I mean, you have the, like we talked about the previous uh, Sniper Ghost game, or Sniper games, but <laughs> what was uh, the number one goal when you set out to make this one? I think it was uh, realism, right? I mean, we really want to be an authentic experience, right? Um, but we know, we know what, what went wrong with the last one. We know what was liked about it, and we've tried to, to improve on that. We've got, you know, a completely revamped uh, uh, sniping system. Um, you know, we're not, uh, as I said in the demo, right, we're not doing anything where you've got a guard who comes out and is going to smoke and turn around, boy, <laughs> please don't shoot me, right? I mean, they all have... Easy target. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're they're going to all have their orders and be doing their things, uh, and so it's going to have a sense of, you know, a real sense of realism, um, and, and, you know, it's authentic, right? It's almost like a, a simulator, almost, because even when you're crafting your gun or doing different things, time has passed. You know, you, you have, when you talk about the, the level of realism, there, there's so many things that go on that just are natural, and mm -hmm. I think that adds to the experience. So you want to put someone in a situation where, oh, they can jump 10 feet in the air all of a sudden, or you have to, they can scale this huge mountain in two seconds, you know, or whatever it is. You literally do everything as if you were there and right. you were doing it. Well, because it's, you know, there, there is a storyline that does take place in somewhat linear fashion, but the rest of it is an open world experience, right? You're doing your reconnaissance in open world. There are open world uh, side missions. There are there are things that you have to do. There are activities. And so in order to make that feel dynamic, you know, you have to have time passing. You have to have the dynamic weather. You have to have a day-night cycle. You have to have things that expire, right? You can't, you know, sub-quests, uh, side quests that are, that, that don't, just, they're, they're not just waiting for you, right? They're going about a thing, you know? And you have to balance that realism with fun, obviously, right. but we want we want to try to walk that line. And, and so far, I think we're succeeding. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I know, I know that uh, you mentioned um, some of the some of the um, uh, lost the word. Lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> Banana. Bananas. Banana. Uh, and, and, and the, uh, <laughs> Well, anyways, uh, it, it looks it looks amazing. It, it, what kind of how many hours of gameplay do you think we can get out of this? Game? We're shooting for uh, about 15. Uh, if you you know if you're gonna just skirt by any of the side quests, it'll probably be closer. to 10 to 12, if you're going to do everything, right, you're going to take your time, you're going to really recon everything, maybe up to 20. So y you see where we're going for, somewhere in the range, you know, 13, 14, 15, something like that. And do you have any TA for release date? Yeah, we're coming out uh, Q2 of 2016, be out on uh, PS4, uh, Xbox One, and PC. It's nice. looking great. Jess, just want to say thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for coming and taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one last question before you go. What's your favorite part of the game? My favorite part of the game uh okay i i love sniper games right? i love <laughs> taking that shot I hope so. there's there's nothing more satisfying than like taking your time putting your sight on the, on something and then just you know watching them go down with one shot right you yeah. so satisfying right and with the stances you know you can adjust your your scope so that you've got a whole lot more control and there's strategy involved in that shot yeah right and and so i mean I, there's just nothing more satisfying in a shooter than, than being a sniper and so this is the, the authentic ex sniper experience like having it's, all that prep paying off finally and you're yeah. like all right there it is right. perfect well jess thank you so much for joining us uh make sure for all the things uh sniper ghost warrior 3 e3 and everything video games make sure you stay on on Press Start TV.